So hello everyone, my name is Ritochit Bose. I hail from the city of Kolkata, West Bengal. I've completed my 10 plus 2 from Delhi Public School, Ruby Park, Kolkata in the year 2020. And I'm currently pursuing BSc Nautical Science from Amity University, Chennai. I'm currently in first year and I'm also sponsored by Maersk Line, which is one of the most reputed shipping companies in the world. So as everyone knows, Maersk Line is one of the largest container lines in the world and is one of the most reputed companies in this industry as well. So everybody is well versed with the goodwill of this company and knows about the feats that this company has achieved in the past and what it is doing in the present as well. So when I started my research in the early days uh, regarding the good companies that recruit cadets from India, I came across Maersk Line and being the largest container shipping line in the world, it caught my attention and Maersk has always been one of my top priorities in the company's list. Uh, and I'm fortunate enough that I have been able to get sponsorship from this company. So I got the sponsorship through the Amit Maersk recruitment drive, which was conducted in August 2021. And it is conducted every year in the month of August, I suppose. You'll have to keep checking Amit's uh, website for the details. And you can also get in touch with them through email or you can call them directly to get more information about the recruitment drive. The forms are released as early as March or April, I think. And uh, as many of you would know that Maersk has signed an MOU with Amit and is currently recruiting cadets only from Amit in India. So it's a great opportunity. And the eligibility criteria is the same as IMU CET. You need to have 60% or above in PCM in your 12th and more than 50% marks in English as well. So that is all about the eligibility criteria. You can go and uh, get in touch with the AMET admission department for further details. And as far as I know that uh, the forms for this year's batch has already been released by AMET. So anyone who's interested can go and check out the further details or the form in the official website of AMET. Yeah, I've always wanted to join Merchant Navy ever since I was a kid because I had this unconditional love for the uniform. And I was also very curious regarding how ships navigate through water and how they float on water. And at some point in life, I also wanted to be a navigator of a vessel. So I started my research quite early in the 10th standard. I used to look for the good universities which offer pre-sea training courses in India, as well as the good companies worldwide which recruit cadets from India. But my proper uh, preparation for these courses and for these entrances started once I joined Hitesha's batches. They are a game changer. I myself have attended two batches. The first one was the IMU CET batch and the second one was the interview batch. And they have boosted my performance uh, to a great extent and they have been game changers for me as I mentioned. I would recommend all of you to join his batches and they will uh, really give you good guidance and it will help you in your preparation. Well, for the written exam, uh, there is not much preparation to be done. You just need to revise the basics from class 11th and 12th. If you are fluent with your basics in physics, chemistry and maths from classes 11th and 12th, then you are good to go. Apart from that, you should also have your general knowledge and English brushed up a bit because questions from those parts are also asked in these written exams. Besides that, uh, you can also join Hitesh sir's batch because he gives great guidance on how to crack the written exam as well. He'll tell you about the important topics and how to manage your time in these exams and how to approach each question in these exams. So please go and join his batches. Well, in my case, uh, the interviewer was very good. He greeted me with a big smile on his face and he told me about the policies in Maersk and how I need to abide by them. After that, he asked for an introduction of myself. Then he asked me about my family. And as I told him that I'm a national level swimmer, he asked me more about my swimming career. Then he asked me a few general questions, uh, like the most general HR questions, why you want to join Merchant Navy and uh, what are your strengths and weaknesses. He specifically asked me for two of my strengths and two of my weaknesses and where I would like to improve myself in. Uh, besides that, he asked me a few general knowledge questions like what is the full form of NASA and where is where is its headquarters located. He also asked me about ISRO, uh, its headquarters and what is the recent project done by ISRO. After that, he asked me a few geographical questions like 
uh, where is Shiyus Canal and where is the Strait of Gibraltar located and also uh, what are the names of the oceans of the world. After that he asked me what I know about the company and why I want to join Maersk particularly and what were the restrictions or problems faced by Maersk during the lockdown. After that he asked me a few questions regarding my political views and with that he wrapped up the interview. And uh, generally, as far as I know, uh, in Maersk interviews, basically general questions, HR questions are asked. Besides that, they might test you in your general knowledge as well as your social awareness. They will also judge you on your communication skills, your confidence, whether you maintain eye contact or not. And after that, they'll obviously, if there's time, they'll ask you a few technical questions just to know whether you're aware of the basics that you have learnt in class 11th and 12th. Some geography might be asked if you are from the tech department and if you are sitting for the marine engineering part then Hite sir would know better than me, he will definitely guide you all. Yeah, so I would like to suggest that everyone who is interested in joining Merchant Navy please prepare for your interviews because it is a very crucial part. Most of the people get rejected during the interviews only. Besides that, also prepare for your return part get to know about your shortcomings, improve your communication skills and besides that one other very important thing is also know about your strengths because your strengths will give you your confidence and without confidence you can't do good in your exam. So please be confident, never lose your confidence and finally join Hitesa's batch because he'll give you great guidance regarding everything in this industry and how to crack these exams. It has been a game changer for me and I am pretty sure that you all will gain great results from it as well. So yeah, thank you Hitesh sir for allowing me to be present in this session. Thank you so much for guiding me as well. Thank you. I am very grateful.